Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode from Single Player Gaming. Today I'm going to be doing an honest benchmark and gameplay review of the Tomb Raider reboot game on the PC. Please hit subscribe and like and comment if you like the video. Now here's the hardware that I recorded the gameplay on. And here I'm just going to go through the options with you of what I selected graphically. Everything's turned to the maximum. Everything's turned as high as it'll go. Uh, the only thing I've turned off is motion blur because I don't like it. I don't see the point why anyone would have motion blur on. If you've got a monitor that can display a picture clear and crisp, why would you then want to blur the image? I think some people do it so it gives the game more of a cinematic appeal. However, I just find it blurs the textures so I can't enjoy what the developers put in there. And now I'm going to start the benchmark that comes built into Tomb Raider. And as you can see, I've just highlighted it in the top right. We've got my release action running just to provide an independent uh, frames per second monitoring option. And I'm going to leave that on throughout all of the gameplay as well. The first time I ran this I actually thought there was going to be more to the benchmark because whilst this game is more CPU demanding I've heard than GPU demanding it certainly does get more action oriented than this one scene but the benchmark only runs this but I have found it to be a good indication of how the game will run I'd just like to say now straight away that this game is very well optimised for the PC and will run well with most computer systems. Just make sure to have the latest drivers for whatever your hardware is. And here's a brief description of the frames per second. And now I'm going to get into the gameplay. I'm simply choosing to carry on from where I was in the game. I've only just started another playthrough, so it's quite early on, so I'm not ruining the plot for anybody. I don't believe in showing clips from later on in the game because it can really spoil the story for people. I've tried to slow down the gameplay in places so you can look at the scenery and the actual game and enjoy it. And as you can see, remember if you're curious to the frames per second, it's up in the top right corner. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? And the fire visuals within the game are very impressive and they need to be because it relies on fire quite heavily both as a gameplay mechanic and as a um, what am I doing? graphical option that's not the correct word but as a graphical feature I should say oh god this is insane now I'll leave you alone for now and I'll speak to you again at the end of the video 
so you can enjoy the rest of the gameplay. woman in the guise of a demon. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Did you get that? Got it. We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. Sam. Oh, um, thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. And we just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right, Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to myths. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But what happened to you?
Well that's the video ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. As you can see the game runs very well on a single GTX 980 Ti and I've heard and read that it runs very well on many other graphics cards. Thank you for watching, comment, subscribe and like and if you keep watching you'll have an option to see other videos that I've done. I hope you enjoy them, take care.